Good morning and welcome to YMCA Group Exercise Online with YMCA of York and York County. Uh, my name is Justin and I'm a Group Exercise Instructor at the Southern Branch YMCA. I'm going to turn my music down real quick. So for this class, you will need a chair, preferably without arms, um, and a water bottle so that we can hydrate as we go. This should be a low to moderate intensity class. Um, I want you to listen to your body. I'm going to offer some adjustments that you can make for your form, but always, always, always adjust based on how it feels versus how it looks. Um, turn this down one more time. So again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications um, so you can be alerted to whenever we're doing any new classes. But I do want you to start sitting in the chair, sitting back, being comfortable, relax the hands and arms, make sure that the feet are out so you're not bracing with the legs. And give me a big, full, deep breath. We're going to do three breaths, full inhale, and just let it go. Big breath in. And let it all out all at once. Again, big breath in. And release. And one more time at your own pace. Inhale to a point of comfortable fullness and just let it go. So scooting away from the back of your chair, we are going to do some more breathing. Um, but our theme for the class today is going to be flow. Uh, so I want us to start moving as soon as we can, moving with the breath. I want you to stay facing toward the screen. I'm going to turn so we can do a seated cat-cow. So away from the back of the chair, toward the middle or toward the front of the chair. Bring the hands up in front, palms face. You can go to prayer position or keep some space between the hands. Inhaling, lift the chest, pulling the elbows and shoulders back. As you exhale, tuck the elbows in towards your belly button and around the back. So we inhale, lift, coming up. Exhale, tuck down, drop the chin, lower the head. At your own pace, inhale up, extending the spine, and exhale, tucking under. I like to open the hands and open the fingers wide as I come up and make soft fists as you come down. So you want to try to move from the sit bone, rocking forward and tucking back. And allow the head to fall out, maybe a little bit up toward the ceiling, tucking the chin, rounding the back. Let's do three more. Inhale up. Exhale, tuck. Big breath. And just one more time. Coming back to neutral spine. Again, sitting toward the middle or toward the front of the chair. Um, so again, some more flow. We'll start slow. Increase to a more rapid pace with an inhale and exhale. And then at the end, hold the stretch. So I want you to take your right hand as a brace on your right leg. And the left arm, we're going to come up and over. Up and over, flowing up and back. Just nice and easy. Up and over. And back. So you're just going to a point of a comfortable stretch. Up and over. And you might find that you're able to go a little bit farther each time as we do an active range of motion stretching. But we're not rushing, we're not forcing, just up and over and back. Starting to breathe with the inhale as we come up. And exhale back. Let's go three more and then hold it on the last one. Up and over and back. Up and over. And 
down. Okay, last time we're gonna hold it for about three breaths. So come up and over, comfortable stretch, and three big breaths. And on your next exhale, lower the arm, coming back to sitting tall. Reversing or repeating on the opposite side, move your left hand to the left leg, and the right arm is going to come up and over. So just up and over, nice and slow to start with. Comfortable stretch, and back. Up and over. And back. Starting to breathe with an inhale as we come up. And exhale down. So again, this is still part of our breathing exercise, not forcing it real hard. Comfortable, easy. Give me three more. We're going to hold it at the end. So for three. Again, inhale up, exhale down. This last one coming up and holding it for three breaths. On your next exhale, we're going to pull coming down. So then I want you to stay facing toward the camera. I'm going to turn. We're going to do another shoulder warm up. Just sweeping the arms forward and back. So the arms by your sides. Lift the hands to about shoulder height. You can lean forward here a little bit if you want. Reaching out. Swing the arms back. Pulling back behind you. Sitting tall. So I don't want you to collapse here. Keep the chest up. Pull back. So we lift. Up, you can lean forward if you want, reaching out for the horizon, and then back as you pull back, chest up. So forward, reach, and back, sitting tall, not letting your chest collapse, sitting tall and pulling back. Inhale forward, reach, exhale back. Sitting tall. Forward reach. Engaging with the feet and back. Sitting tall. Let's go three more following the breath in and out. One more time. Huh? And back. So while we're here, starting to work on strength and core, getting the legs a little bit more involved, starting just by lifting your left knee. Lift the left knee. This is going to cause your hip to want to sink back, so you lift the knee and sit tall. And down. Again, left knee, lift, sit tall. And down. Don't hold your breath here. Lift, sit tall, and down. Going a little bit farther, still just left leg. Lift the knee, sit tall, extend from the heel. Make sure that you're sitting upright, flexing the toe, in and down. So we're working the postural strength of sitting up tall. Left knee and down. We're going to do two more. Lift. Sit tall, extend, sit tall, flex the toe, sit tall, and down. It's harder than it looks. One more time, you lift the left knee, sit tall, extend the heel, sit tall, flex the toe, sit tall, and down. Right knee, three times lifting, and then three times extending the leg. Lifting the right knee, sit tall, resisting that urge to collapse. Strengthen the lower back muscles and down. Again, right knee up, sit tall. You don't have to move the leg very far. It's more about that upright position and down. Last time, lift the knee, sit tall. 
And then we get to go to part two, a little bit harder, and then down. Lifting the right knee, sit tall, extend the heel, sit tall, flex the toe, and down. Right leg again, first knee up, adjust posture, heel out, adjust posture, flex toe, adjust posture, and down. Last one, lift the knee, sit tall, extend the heel, sit tall, flex the toe, and down. So I'm turning back towards the camera, and we're going to do a spinal twist. We have a couple more movements, and then we'll come to standing um, for a while. So we did a side, but I want to do a twist. Um, so starting with the arms by your sides, palms facing out, we're going to reach just up and down, up, inhale, and down, exhale. Inhale, up, exhale, down. And just three more. So in yoga, we have a term vinyasa, which means flowing with the breath. So today, we're not really going to do as much static positions as finding movement inside the positions. Last one, keep the arms up. I want to turn to the left. So your left arm comes around and back. Right arm comes across and turn. Sitting tall and looking over your left shoulder. Bring the arms up, sweep, and turn to the right. Right arm back, left arm across, and turn. Coming up, both arms lift, turn left. Left arm back, right arm across, long spine, fall to the top of the head. We're going to inhale as the arms come up. And exhale as you turn right, right arm back, left arm across. So now we have the basic movement. We're going to inhale up, exhale, turn. Inhale up, exhale, turn. Let's go three, two, one. Inhale up, exhale, turning left. Inhale up, exhale, turning right. Two more to each side. Up and turn. Up and turn. Last time to both sides, and then we're going to hold it. Turn left. Inhale up and turn right. Back to the left, holding for three breaths. Up and turn, and then we breathe for three. Two, one more time. Coming up, turn right, and we're going to hold for three breaths. Up, and lower the arms. All the way down. Let's take some time to just roll the shoulders back. And shake out the hands. So we're going to come to stand now. I want to do this actively. So you stay facing through the camera. I'm going to turn and we're going to come to standing. Very similar to how we did our second shoulder stretch. So making sure you're toward the middle or the front half of the chair. You want ankles under your knees. And we're going to start with that arm swing. So just forward and reach. Try to load your body weight over your thighs. Reach. Keep going. If we go a little bit further, you can actually lift the hips out of the chair. Partway up and then back down. Again, we're going to do two more partway up. And back down. One more time, part way up and back down. Now all the way up, sweep, reach, coming to standing, arms up, and then lower softly to your sides. So I'm going to move my chair. Um, I want you standing behind the chair in case you need any support. But I'm going to move it out of the way for now. Um, unless we need it for balance. 
So you still have the chair right in front of you. I'm going to pretend that I have mine, but I don't want it in the way. So starting with the feet wide, about one leg slide. I'm going to turn my left toes out to the side. And then I like to kick the right heel out. So we're almost alignment of heel through the air to the foot. Note that you do not need that left foot turn out uh, totally perpendicular. I like to have the toes in a little bit, and that just gives us more room to move the hips. So we're going to start with side angle, warrior two, uh, and reverse warrior as a flow. Nice and slow, easy to start with. Bending your left knee, make sure the knee doesn't go past the toes. So starting with warrior two, arms out, reaching into the fingertips, shoulder blades down and apart, and gaze goes out over your left middle finger. And you can sink down here a little bit as long as the knee doesn't go past the toes. And we'll hang out here for a few breaths. And always feel free to wiggle a little bit. Wiggle is an important technical yoga term, so we're not taking our poses for granted. You can stretch your way through it. We can sink a little, we can wiggle around uh, to make sure you get to the fullest, most comfortable depth of your pose. So starting from here to side angle, we're going to bring the hand or forearm down to the thigh, right arm up and over. So while we're going to hang up here and just flow this right arm back and over with your breath back and over. This might allow you to sink a little bit deeper. So if you can go deeper, you can bring that left arm and front arm on the outside toward the floor. But just go into your depth. So if you're going to stay right here on the forearm, that's fine. Just flow and find your depth. Give me two more. Back. And over, and last one, back, and we're going to hang out here for three breaths. Pulling to the right arm to come up, all the way up, keep that knee bent. If you need a break, you can straighten it out if you're going to keep working. So we're back to warrior two. Taking your right hand from here back to your right leg. The left arm, we're going to turn the palm up and come over. This is reverse warrior. Just make sure you're not straightening that leg as you come up so we can be here and then bend back into it. So the movement still goes out toward the left as we go up and over. Again, flowing with your left arm this time, we go back and over. Back. So your right hand can provide a little bit of support there on the leg. So trying to flow with most of the arm, keeping bending into that left knee. Give me two more. And over. Hang on here for three breaths. And pulling through your left arm to come a little way up. So straighten out the left leg. We're going to square off the feet. Toes and sides of the feet square. And just repeat that to the right. Turn the right toes out, but not all the way. Kick the left heel out. And bending into the right knee. Starting with warrior two. Arms out. Shoulder blades down and apart. Wiggle. Settle. Find where you're comfortable. Gaze can go out over the right middle finger. So try to make sure you're not leaning you know, the top of the head toward the ceiling. Going to side angle, take the right hand or forearm down to the leg. I'm going to flow with that left arm up and over. Just with your breath, make sure that you're keeping a balance of effort and ease. Over. And back. Over. And back. 
a four. And two. So this last time we're gonna hold it up and over for three breaths. And pulling through your left arm to come all the way back up. Keeping the leg here, going from warrior two to reverse warrior, taking your left hand down to the leg, right arm palm up. And we're going to flow with this right arm. So again, watch the right knee tense. He's going to be, just want to straighten out here a little bit, keep it bent. Energy's going out toward the right. So just not moving from here, just the upper body. So flowing the right arm up and over. And back. Up and over. So the idea of this flow is to maybe be able to sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Just a, just a millimeter, just a little bit with each flow. And to make sure you're not holding the breath. All right, three more. So we are going to come back to this and combine the two flows, but I think this is a good place to start here. And three breaths. Pull into that right arm to come all the way up. Square it off. And narrow your stance. So that's a lot of work. You're going to get behind the chair. I want you to stay facing toward the camera. I'm going to bring my chair back. And we'll do a standing down dog um, to help stretch out the legs and the back and the shoulders. Start with the hands on the back of your chair. Step back and sink down. We're trying to lead with the trunk and back with the tailbone. Knees can be a lot. They can bicycle the legs in place, bending one knee and straightening the others. You can also shift the hip side to side to stretch through the back. You think about a dog or a cat stretching when they get up. They reach through the limbs. It's not just static. We're never just holding a static pose. We can always flow a little bit. And with the knees relaxed, I want you to try to lift that tailbone up. So take that tailbone, lift it up. Almost like you're trying to arch the back, which you won't be able to very much. That will increase that stretch down your legs. And we can sink into the shoulders. Let the head hang down. So lift the tailbone, knees slightly unlocked, arms slightly relaxed. And give me three breaths here. So bending the knees, drop the tailbone, tuck under, and roll up. Head and shoulders coming up last. So behind the chair, I want you to take your hands to your lower back. So not up here. We want it down on the bony part of the pelvis. Pulling the elbows and shoulders back. Shifting the weight toward the toes slightly. Tuck the chin and roll up. So you pull the elbows and shoulders back. Push the hands into your lower back. Tuck the hips under and roll their head up and back. Breathing up into the upper part of your chest for three breaths. Lowering the head, release the arms down and shake it out. So, going to the left side of your chair, um, we're going to do a flow from warrior one into a balance. So, let's practice the different steps first. Starting out with a single leg uh, balance, give yourself some space between your body and the chair as we're trying to shift our belly button over top our base of support, which is the right leg. You can use the chair for balance here. We're going to come lift that knee. And just like we did when we're seated, seated, trunk up. So I want you to stay facing toward the camera. I'm going to turn so we can do this together. So starting again, shift your weight toward the chair. 
lift the knee and adjust up. That stance leg can stay relaxed, and we're really just looking for a 90 degree, 90 degree. From here, floating that right leg, sorry, start floating that left leg back, reaching back, trying to as not use the leg if you need to, just lower down, connect, and roll up. So from here, flowing back to that single leg stance, I'm having my right hand on the chair for the easiest version, both arms free for a more challenging version. Go with what you're comfortable with. Because again, we're going to start here, swing the arms, give me a three, two, one. Three, two, shifting the weight forward. Last one, here we go. Up, lift that knee. You can lift that arm if you want, and then back to warrior one. So inhale, exhale, stretch back, connect, and roll up. Give me both arms here, down and sweep, up and over. Try to get a long line from your left heel through the front side of the body, expressing up to your fingertips, up and back. Coming back to that single leg stance, or I sweep the arms again. Three, two, one. You can use the chair with the right hand if you need to for balance. But we go to three, two, shifting forward. Last one up and lift the knee. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Lower and down. Walk it out. So switching sides, repeating that movement on the opposite side. I'm just going to turn 180. So now you're a little, so if, if I'm facing toward the camera, I'm going to be beside the chair with some space so that you're not bumping into the chair. Um, left leg is our stance line, so you want to try to shift the weight so your belly button's over your support. You can stay toward the camera. I'm going to turn. So starting out with our single leg high knee lift, shifting toward the chair, lift that right knee, long spine. Breathe. One more time. And stretching the right leg back, back, lower, connect, and roll up. So with the left hand on the chair, for easier version of both hands, free for harder version, swinging through the arms. So we go one, shifting forward, two, last one, here we go, coming up, lift the knee, and you can lift that right arm if you want. Long spine, tall, need to be relaxed with three breaths. Okay, so sending that right leg back again. Float, lower. I think you can use that left hand on the chair if you need to. Connect and roll up. Sweeping the arms, holding warrior one. Go up and over. Try to be a long line. From your right heel up to your fingertips and back. All right, coming back to high knee. Give me a three, two, one. Sweep. Three, two, shifting the weight forward. Feel free to use the chair for this if you need, but coming up, lift the knee for three breaths. One more time and down. So again, coming back behind your chair, we're going to do another downward facing dog. So I want you to stay facing toward the camera. I'm turning so we're going the same direction. Hands on the chair, step back, sink back, lift the tailbone, wiggle your way into it, settling into it. I don't like to lock the knees here because then you're not using the thighs. 
If you have the knees slightly unlocked, lifting the tailbone, it's a nice active stretch. Bend the knees, drop the hips, rolling all the way up, nice and slow. Head and shoulders coming up last. Reach. And hands come down, palms press, mountain pose. So we're going to take a quick break. Um, we're about halfway through the class now, so I want you to take a water break. We're going to do a couple of seated stretches um, and then come back to standing for a couple of more flows. Um, so grab some water, have a seat. So let's take some time to stretch the head and the neck. We've done a lot of arm movements, so you might be feeling it through the upper shoulders. Starting out, more your two arms. I'm going to take my palms toward the floor, reach shoulders down and shoulder blades apart. Reaching through the fingers, you might feel a slight stretch going down your arm from the biceps through down to the fingertips. If you don't feel that that's okay, if you want to go far, you can push the palms away, which is more of a stretch. By taking your ear towards your shoulder, reaching the fingers away. Bring that head up and over to the other side, up and over. Try to keep his arms parallel to the floor. Lowering the arms and lower the chin to the chest, and then roll up. So doing cow pose arms. I'm going to demonstrate this front one, and then I'll turn so you can get a, a back one. Starting with your right arm, we're going to come to your lower back and across toward the left hip. So I don't want you just to try to go up the spine. We're going to go across first and keep the shoulder back. The left arm is going to come up and over, pointing the fingers down the spine. So not trying to worry about how close you get the hands to each other. Just opening, sitting tall. Give me a breath. And release. Arms out. We're going to take the left arm this time from the hip toward the right hip. Across. And the right arm up and over. Fingertips pointing down the spine. Shoulders and chest open. And give me a breath. So we're going to do this again. I'm going to turn. I want you to stay facing toward the camera. So release, shake it out. So what this is going to do, starting with the right arm going across. We have right arm from the hip across and then up. You don't want to just go straight up instead of collapse the shoulder, go cross first, and then up, and then your left arm up and over, fingers down the spot. Doesn't matter if you touch. Shoulders open, big breath, and release. Shake it out. Left arm from the hip across first, and then up. And then your right arm comes up and over towards the left. Shoulders back and open. Big breath. And release out to the side. Shake it up. From here, moving the feet into a wide V shape. So really, it's more important that we're opening from the knees outward, not as much how far the feet go. And you want the knees and the toes on the same line. So it doesn't matter how far you're just opening from the knees, like you're pushing something against the outside of your knees. Hands on the thigh, long spine, we're hinged forward. And back up. Using your arms, we're supposed to try to stretch the thighs and the back. Long spine, hinge forward and back up. Make sure you're breathing throughout. So we come down, exhaling, 
and after she went ahead. Slow and easy. Give me three more. Last one. Hold it here. So you can keep the hands on your thighs for support. Or if you want and you're comfortable, you can release the arms down. It does not matter if you touch the floor. If you don't touch the floor, I would recommend keeping your arms on your, uh, on your thighs. So when we come back up, you are going to move the hands to your legs using the upper body to help the weight of the trunk come back up. Narrowing your legs, we're going to come back to standing. And again, doing this with the arm swing, using the thighs. So making sure that you're up on the front half of the chair, ankles under knees, swing the arms. We're going to three, two, one, up. So we go three, lean, two, swing. One more time, and on the next one, we come all the way up, come up, control, very good, and lower down. Okay, so we're back to warrior two, side angle, and reverse warrior. We did this before, flowing in each position, now we're going to flow between them. So I want you to have the chair directly in front of you if you need to for balance, feet wide, about one leg's length apart, turning the left toes out and the right heel out. Keep the knee bent, and this just kind of locks here. We're not moving this leg, it's just the upper body hinging over top. Just going through it slow at first, with the left forearm coming to the thigh, right arm over, side angle. Pulling through the right arm to come back up, Right hand comes to your right leg. Left arm comes up and over. Reverse warrior. Making sure that left knee stays back. Again, left arm to left leg. Right arm up and over. Side angle. Right hand to right leg. Left arm up and over. Reverse warrior. Let's go one more time slow, and then we'll start to go faster. Left hand to left leg, right arm up and over. So you don't have to go real low here. You can just stay on the hand. You don't have to come to the forearm. Conversely, if you want to go farther, you can go to the floor. Um, so we're going to exhale back, right arm down, left arm over, and inhale the side angle, forearm to thigh, Right arm over. So I'm going to count us down and then we'll go. Three, two, one. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, give me two more. Inhale. Back to reverse warrior. All right, let's do one more and hold it. So side angle, we're going to hold it for three breaths. On your next exhale, pulling back to reverse warrior, palm up with the left hand, and give me three breaths. On your next inhale, coming all the way up, squaring off toes and sides of the feet parallel, and then turn your right toes out. So same thing, we're going to walk through it one step at a time, and then gradually come to our quicker flow, and then hold it. Um, and again, taking to whatever depth you're comfortable with. So bending the right knee, starting with side angle, right hand or forearm to the thigh, Left arm over. Switching to reverse warrior, bringing the left arm back to the left leg, and the right arm up and over. 
Again, as best you can, make sure that this leg is locked in place. We don't want a lot of flexion on this knee. The lower body just stays where it is. So coming back to side angle. Forearm to thigh, left arm over. Going back to reverse warrior, left hand to left leg, right arm over. Okay, starting to go a little bit faster. Side angle, right arm to leg, left arm over. Reverse warrior, left arm to leg, right arm comes palm up, up and over. So we're gonna inhale, to the side angle, exhale to reverse warrior. So we're going to come back to side angle, right hand to thigh, left arm over. I'm going to count on scale and we'll flow three times with the breath. And exhaling first in three, two, one. And inhale. Again, vinyasa is flowing with the breath. And exhale. And in. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. And we're going to hang out here for three breaths. Going to the left arm to come up, reverse warrior, and hold it here for three breaths. Pulling to the right arm to come up, squaring off. Let's do one last downward facing dog. So narrow your stance. Make sure you have your chair in front of you. You can stay facing toward the camera. I'm going to do this from the side. So with the hands on the chair stepping back, lead with your tailbone. Lead with the tailbone, sinking back. Knees relaxed, hanging into the shoulders. Give me three big breaths, like a sigh. Just inhale and let it go. Bend in the knees, drop the hips, rolling up, all the way up, head and shoulders coming up last, reach for the ceiling, and lower the hands, palms press to the front of your chest. So while we're here, before we sit, I want to do a brief um, qigong exercise to help us loosen the body and, and to take a softer look at the end of our practice. So I'm going to move the chair temporarily. We're going to do one last uh, standing exercise and then we come to seated. So I think Chikung and Yoga are a good complement to each other and we've done sort of both um, with this flowing breathing practice. Very simple movement here, starting with the middle fingers touching, press the palms to the floor. Swinging the arms up overhead, stretch gently through the whole body. You can lift off the heels if you want, and then lower the arms to your sides. Middle fingers touch, press down. Inhale as you swing the arms overhead, and stretch and exhale as we release down. So long, slow breath. Press, inhale. So inhale all the way up. And exhale all the way down. Let's do three at your own pace. Try to keep the breath from having any obvious breaks or any obvious starts and stops. 
So starting here, inhale all the way up, and exhale all the way down. Give me three, two, one. breathing to slow down our practice. I want you to go ahead, grab some more water if you need it, and then we're going to come back to the chair uh, for the remainder of our practice. So today we did a lot of side bending um, and a lot of forward and backward flexion. So we're going to end with a little bit of twisting um, and holding the static stretches a little bit longer. So what I want you to do first, give yourself a big hug. I'm crossing right over top first. And turn and look over your left shoulder. So hug and turn. Give me four breaths here. Coming back to the center, switch arms. I'm going to uncross and cross the other arm over top, turning to your right for four breaths. Slowly coming back to the center. Again, reaching out. Bring your hands together, palms face, and interlace your fingers. First, give me knuckles out. Reach your knuckles toward the screen. You can turn the thumbs and keep reaching. You stay toward the camera. I'm going to turn to show you what I mean. So we're here. We turn and reach, and then continue to reach, rounding the back slightly so the shoulder blades come apart. Your thumbs out, reaching away. From there, you can take this and turn it left, reaching through the right shoulder, stretching both arms and knuckles and thumbs out. Come back to the center and go to the right, reaching out, turning the thumbs, head relaxed, shoulder blades apart, sliding the shoulder blades across your rib cage. Coming back all the way to the center and up. Keeping the fingers interlaced, give me palms out. Knuckles out. Take it up overhead and give me palms out. Wiggle, just stretch from one side to the other, stretching up through your wrists, flexing the wrists, press the palms, knuckles out. Release all the way down and shake out your hands. So moving down to the legs and lower body, taking your left leg out, toes lifted, hands on your right thigh, a long spine, lead with the chin out, flexing the toes. So you stay toward the camera, I'm going to turn slightly. So what I want is here and then lift the chest a little bit, flex the toes, and that makes a nice L shape here. And that should be all you need. You don't have to be able to reach the toe. It's just a nice long spine, lifted toes, knees unlocked. One more big breath. And we're going to come all the way up. Switching legs, give me left leg in, right leg out. Same thing, we're going to the long spine, lead with the chin, hands on your left thigh, coming forward, 
we want to check out the ground that helps keep the spine elongated, the flexing the toes, the long spine. So when I say long spine, I'm really talking about sitting from the tailbone up and the rib cage up. You don't have to use the neck a whole lot. You don't want to be here um, with the neck very flexed. The chin down, keeping the back of the neck soft. And really just active through the spine or the, the torso part of the spine. One more big breath. And coming all the way up. Putting feet flat. And go ahead and give me that left leg out again. So I want to work all the way down the body, all the way down to the tips of your toes. So I'm doing this with shoes on. Of course, if you're at home, you can feel free to do it barefoot or in your socks, however you're most comfortable. But what I do want to do is take that foot and draw big circles as far as you can. Keep the heel planted and turn the foot in the angle as far as you can, rolling those toes as we circle. A handful of times one way and a handful of times the other way. Taking care of our bodies all the way down to the feet. Switching legs, same thing with the right foot. Circle the toes as widely as you can around the heel. Feeling those little joints move. And reverse direction. And go ahead and bring that right leg back in. So, now we're at the end of our practice. We're down to relaxation and breathing. So I want you to scoop back in the chair, letting the chair hold you up, putting the feet out in front. Your hands can be palms up or palms down on your thigh, however you're most comfortable. And just make sure the shoulders are relaxed, the whole body is relaxed. And just like we did at the beginning, that's kind of a palate cleanser, just give you three big breaths. Inhale and let it go. Just big breath in and out. Softening the belly muscles, big breath in and out. Softening the face, big breath in and out. Allowing your body to relax into the chair. So before we go into our relaxation, I'm going to look at uh, the four parts of the breath. So last time we looked at breathing expressively and moving the trunk. Today we're going to look at the inhale, the retention of the breath, the exhale, and the suspension between the exhale and the inhale. So just playing with the part, getting a comfortable inhale. Notice this, the retention, exhale, and notice the suspension. So I want you to force the retention and the suspension. Just notice it. So give me three breaths. Comfortable. Inhale. Notice the pause. Exhale. Notice the pause. Three times when you're ready. to bring our mindfulness to the pattern of breathing. All breathing exercises basically boil down to some interplay between inhalation, retention, exhalation, and suspension. I would always encourage you to keep within the realm of what's comfortable. Inhaling to a point of comfortable fullness, pausing for a comfortable amount of time, exhaling to a point of comfortable emptiness, and then pausing for a comfortable amount of time. So let's do three more breaths. And then going into our final relaxation or watching the breath. So to start with, we're going to do three rounds of the four phases of breathing. After that final suspension, we're just going to let the breath flow naturally and watch it come and go. So when you're ready, three, two, one. Inhale. Notice the pause. Exhale. Notice the pause. Two more. 
on your own pace. So after this final pause, you can close your eyes or keep your eyes open or half closed and just allow yourself to watch your body's natural rate of breathing. So as honestly as you can, not trying to control the breath anymore, simply observing it as it moves. Observing without judgment. Bring your attention to the movement of the inhale and the exhale. And this can be the feeling of the breath as it comes in and leaves the body. The sensation in the nose or the mouth. Or you can feel the physical body move as you breathe. The slight rise or fall of the chest and the belly. And trying to keep this an alert awareness. So you're not settling in like you're about to take a nap. You're observing your breath with the same level of intent that you would use watching the TV or reading a book. Investing your attention and the movement of your breath as your body breathes naturally. They say that we pay attention to what we really care about. So can you give that same level of attention to your body and the quality of your breath uh, that you would to something that you were equally as interested in or equally invested in? So when you're ready, you can still keep the eyes closed, but just start to move the fingers and toes, the smallest joints of your body farthest out. Maybe taking some deeper breaths, but still going slow. Allowing that movement to increase to the ankles and wrists, knees and elbows, shoulders and hips. Starting with small movements before adding larger ones, but allowing yourself to stress organically however you think it would feel good. You don't have to follow me. This is all about what you think would feel good right now. And when you're ready, finally sitting back up tall, um, thank you very much for joining me in this virtual space, for sharing your presence with the rest of us, um, for sharing your practice, and for sharing your breath. So I hope you're able to take some of this practice with you through the rest of your weekend, and namaste. Again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell uh, so that you can see whenever we're doing more classes. So from the YMC of your New County, from my living room, thank you very much for joining us, um, and we hope to see you next time.